Hey guys, it's Pope. I am getting ready to head out to the gym to get started on my training session today. I'm on the mend from the hip flexor quad strain that I was dealing with. It's still bothering me some, and I haven't been able to do any squatting, but I'm starting to get my snatch moving a bit better now, and I'm able to do power cleans. So at least I am doing something now at this point, even though we're not doing any squat training and sitting a little over five weeks out from a competition. <laughs> Competing at the AO3 in Vegas, uh, this is a bit dismal and not the way I expected my training cycle to be going because things were going great, but I just got this uh, bit of an overuse injury and I was snatching super crooked and I had to fix some imbalances in my hips that were not keeping my pelvis in alignment while I was lifting. So I've been doing tons of rehab work and just doing whatever I can, trying to stay positive through this. It's not a major injury, but it is a setback in my training for this meet, so it sucks. But it's, I can only control so much and I'm trying to focus on those things and just really, really put everything into what I am able to do and hope that it will pay off and I will come together for the meet. Cause there still is some time, five weeks is still enough time to kind of really turn things around if I can get back to squatting because my clean and jerk is not gonna be very big if we have no like strength to work with. So yeah, today I am going to be working on snatch and we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to hit uh, my full EMOM workout every minute on the minute snatches up to 75 is what is prescribed. Fingers crossed I can do that and hopefully Maybe by the end of this week, I can start doing at least some light squats. So that's where I'm at. Time to get moving. Let's go train.
My training today ended up going super well, so I'm really happy. A no miss snatch day, and I was able to hit those 75s without hurting very much, so I'm really, really pleased with how today went. At least I'm getting some forward momentum going, even if it's not on super heavy weights. At least I'm able to get some work in, and I'm really trying to stay positive. I was starting to get down a bit actually at the beginning of this week and then I snatched an 82 off the blocks. I was only supposed to go up to 65 but they were feeling good and my mobility seemed to have been improving from what it had the last couple weeks so we kind of pushed it then and I was able to get up to 82 without much pain at all so I'm feeling a bit more uh, encouraged I guess is the word now and hopefully I can keep building on these numbers and get something going for this meet because I was really looking forward to a big performance in Vegas. So let's just hope that I keep getting more and more on the mend. I did get to go see my massage therapist today. I'm trying to do that weekly right now, which is really helping and just spending a lot of time doing my rombwad and mobility stuff because mobility totally went away. Like I could not get below parallel. So it's slowly coming back and that's kind of why I'm able to get back to lifting now. So things are improving at least. Amy from Catalyst has been coaching me for about five weeks now. And I hate that I got started with her all broken, <laughs> like handed her a totally broken athlete, but she's been super good about programming for me day to day, figuring out what we can do, like get in as much work as possible around this. I'm really thankful she has been so accommodating with the programming and helping me through this. So that's been awesome. I will be representing Catalyst Athletics at the AO3. Long story short, Colin can't be at meets for a while and I needed to make a switch because of that so that I can have my coach at the competitions. No drama or anything there. I already wrote that on the Instagram but didn't really tell YouTube. Amy's my coach now, I'm on Catalyst, all is well. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am trying to keep putting out videos every Thursday. I have a lot of travel coming up here in a couple weeks. I'm basically gonna be gone for six weeks straight. So I got like two more weeks here in Georgia for training and then we're gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be fun. Some great content coming your way soon. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Charlie. Say hi to your fans. Good boy.